In this video, we're going to look at which of the following equations represents the piecewise function of the graph below. So if it was me, I would first look and see where this breaking point is, where it switches from one equation to the other. And I'm noticing that it's at 2. So I'm looking at my answer choices, and I notice that this one here is saying negative 2. So we're going to eliminate that answer choice right away. Now I'm going to look at the equations. So I am noticing that um, my first equations are a little bit, all a little bit different. It does look like I have an equation of a line, which remember is y equals mx plus b. My y-intercept is at positive 1. And then when I count my slope up 1 over 1, I know that I am at 1 as well. So I'm looking for an x plus 1, which I see here. I see here, but not here. That has a negative in front of it. So this one is out. Um, so now I'm looking at my parabola here. So with my parabola, my y-intercept, or sorry, not my, my vertex, not my y-intercept, my vertex is out 3 and up 2. Remember, our skeleton of our equation for our parabola is x equals h squared plus k. Um, when we go in or out of parentheses, we change the sign. So it would be x minus 3 squared plus 2. So I'm looking for that. And I'm noticing this one has a negative in front, so that one has to be out, so D would have to be the answer choice.